Hi everybody, it's Arnie and this is another alliance war, again a very important war and facing very strong alliance. Uh, I know some guys from this alliance so it's nice to meet someone that you're familiar with. And I'm bringing Corvus, Captain America Infinity War and Dr. Voodoo. And we're going to have some interesting fights, Medusa on counter tactics, uh, we're going to fight Emma Frost, Iceman, Archangel and also have some Korg action as a main boss for you guys and I have a surprise for you stay tuned and we're starting with the first fight and first one it's just pretty easy diversity node and for Dr. Voodoo it's just nothing it's also a strike back node so I'm waiting for her to throw her special and I'm playing with 10% so <coughs> sorry guys I love to live at age here <laughs> playing with 10% when game can lag at you but this is a really really easy fight it's also an awakened one and she's down we're moving on to next one and we check with the uh, scoutland's boot uh, I thought it showed it's going to be rank 4 black widow or Gwenpool so I went with Corvus hoping that it's going to be black widow because it can give me a charge but it wasn't it's a Gwenpool but still fine, it's Gwenpool, pretty easy matchup here. I know Koros SP2 won't kill her, so I need to be careful with it and bait specials. But another great thing about Koros, and you will see it in this specific fight in a moment, so I'm building my SP2. I'm trying, just waiting and see, okay, I have 6 more charges, 5 more charges, let's see, let's do some more damage and then trigger my SP2. Uh, 4 charges, still trying to bait her special, she's not triggering her specials and boom, uh, 3 bars of power when you have charges and your SP2 will power drain her so it's pretty nice and she's down now we're moving on to next node and this is going to be a very 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 interesting fight so it's a Medusa and I saw the PI and I was pretty sure that this guy is running suicide and I don't know why people still running suicides and placing defenders in alliance wars but my goal here is play with cap as I play my usual game style party heavy party heavy sp2 I will use science boost because I wanna cycle sp2s as much as possible here and it's a great note for cap because if you're not familiar with counter tactics or uh, when you build your combo uh, your opponent attack just rising so with cap because you're doing uh, par uh, party it's not really party heavy intercept it's starting you know you do less hits and much more damage so this is pretty cool and also suicides I are basically killing her and you will see something in this fight and many will say again that I don't know how to play and I agree with you guys I don't know how to play but still I'm doing my usual I'm just pushing her to SP1 for some recoil damage. My heavy did 10,000 damage. It was pretty nice to see. It. Nice crits. I'm almost at 2 bars of power here. And now I did a mistake. I thought I will reach SP2. I didn't. I reached only SP1. And I just lost 1 SP2 here. So, but the fight is going amazing. I, I'm at almost full health and she had 32% here and Cap's block proficiency is pretty awesome so now I need her to trigger special and she's nice she triggered her special and also recall damage I did my SP2 mm, nothing 9k it was very surprising I must say I had some kinetic charges so 40% now I'm pretty confident that she's going down no matter what I just need her to trigger her special and that's it I triggered my special hoping that bleed will kill you but it didn't so 1% 1% this is all I need come on here is my mistake I mistimed my heavy so I'm holding block and what the fuck just, just look at the small motion I need one hit and boom she just went through my block now many of you will say no you dashed back uh, you released your block there is no reason to dash back, I'm at the corner, there is no reason to release the block, I hold my block. Pay attention, less than 2000 health left. All I need to do 
is for her to finish her combo and one hit with cat, that's it. It's, I think it's third or fourth time it's happened to me fighting Medusa when she's just breaking blocks. Wow. So we're moving on to next one and uh, Scatterland's bot showed me that it's going to be Abomination or Hulk. And I could not take any risks with Voodoo and Corva, so I decided to heal Cap because Cap hits hard. I also have Pacify Max, so I can just parry heavy, pray for no poison. And this is really was the reason I used three potions on Cap and healed him. And we're going to see Hulk, so it was wrong bet, but a better place safe than just meet someone that Corvus or Dr. Voodoo would die to. So I lost the charge but it's fine, uh, there is nothing special on this node except uh, critical hits and if Hulk will hit you with his 5 hit combo you will die. So I can understand why someone will put Hulk here, just one mistake and game over but Cap, 20 hits, finished Hulk. So this Medusa fight really pissed me off, I was uh, just talking to my alliance and I'm like Guys, I'm so pissed about what happened, it's just 1% Suicide would, would kill her, I don't know how it happened, I don't know how she broke the block again and <sighs> We're moving on And next one, it's a tech champion, it's Ghost 5 star Ghost And Ghost She's a really bad defender, I must say. There is nothing special on Ghost. Her specials are very easy to evade. Her attacks are pretty easy. And I don't know, but probably if you do mistake, she will hit hard. Maybe this is the reason that. And diversity, probably. So, next one, I just looked at the API. I saw it's a rank 5 champion. I checked the profile of this guy and he have a lot of rank 5 champions. So I run through Scatterland's bot and so it's going to be Emma Frost and they put her here, it's not unblockable SP1 and there is reverse control here and there are two ways to play it. One you can evade the reverse control fully or one you can block the first hit and then dash uh, just backward, uh, just reverse and attack her. Also, if you're not playing with Corvus or with any other champion, my suggestion to you, do 4 hits if you reach 1 bar of power, just create distance. Just think about like Yellow Jacket. So, with Corvus, it was pretty easy. I think it's feasible with every champion. And we're moving on to next mutant. So, another mutant champion. And this is unblockable SP1 and there's, they start with 1 bar of power, so... We all can know that it's going to be Iceman, I was sure that it's going to be Iceman and I'm still pissed and angry <laughs> from Medusa fight. So, let's go, let's clear Iceman and I'm trying to create a distance because he can throw his special at the beginning, so I'm trying to parry and heal. I really don't know what happened. Maybe I just, just wasn't focused at this point and he heavied me. Iceman heavied me. Come on, man! Ice bro, just heavy me. Eh, so funny, so funny stuff. So this is a pretty easy fight with Corvus here. Now SP2 and game over. And we're moving on. And guess what? Another champion, another mutant champion, and this is going to be. Unblockable SP1, mini boss, Archangel, so I decided, okay, should I use small heal? No, I will use a 6k potion, I have also one on overflow, I buy them every day, sometimes 2, sometimes 1. This is the only thing I spend glory on, nothing else. So with Archangel, his only first part is unblockable, he also runs suicide, so I'm like, okay. Another one runs suicide, so let's try and bait SP1 and let him die from suicides. I'm also baiting heavies. And now I'm trying to bait his SP1 and he like, nope, I'm not going to trigger. I'm not going to trigger SP1. So I'm like, okay, let's try to bait SP2. And nothing, so let's do my best evade game on heavies and everything on point. I'm like, 
Okay, I don't want to trigger SP2. Nice. You're going to die. So game over for him. And if you stayed here till now, I want to share with you a video that my buddy from my alliance sent me. It's a is exploring his ghost. It's a rank one six star ghost, unawakened. And this is the first time that he's facing Korg as a boss. He asked me if we can try Korg, and I'm like, you know, go ahead, go. It would be nice to see what Ghost can do. So don't judge him too much. Yeah, I think he's doing really, really great gameplay, and you will see. And he is improving, and he is getting in love with Ghost because she hits like a truck. And let's let's see. So. His goal here is to remove charges, as you can see here, you can phase and you can just intercept him with light attack. And I think he's sometimes in his time his phase, but still trying to build his SP2 and let's see what SP2 to do, what, 15,000, 50,000, 20,000, so he runs partial suicide, only one point of recoil and just a few points because he hasn't unlocked suicide, so... and. As you can see here, he sometimes mistimes his medium attacks and it takes some thorns damage from this core, but I believe his goal here is try and spam SP2s and do as much damage as he can with Ghost. I think here he could throw SP2, I don't know why he didn't throw it, but he throw it now, but he just immediately after Rock Shield uh, reinformed and he took a lot of thorns damage and his SP2 did nothing. So now he's unblockable here and the fight is okay, it's not the best fight that you can see but it's still nice to see someone that really trying with a new champion and I'm sure he will solo Korg next time because he also learned from many many stuff from this fight as you can see here but it's still rank 5 Korg and Ghost doing a lot of damage to this rank 5 Ghost and now he needs just to wait for critical to disappear and boom another nice special 30,000 so the fight is still going nice he still can do a lot of damage and another special even more damage but he should have get more power from uh, tech boost I think something wrong here with the tech boost but who knows, maybe I'm mistaken. So 27% and Korg managed to intercept him and he died. So it was a pretty awesome fight for someone who tried for the first time to fight Korg. It took out a lot of health from him and if it was rank 2 Ghost, he probably would kill him. Well, thank you for your video. And I'm like, okay, you know what, let's, let's just go with Voodoo. I hate Korg, I still hate him. So... If this fight I watched the health and I decided I'm not going to do an intercept game, I'm not going to do any special with him, I'm going to take the Thorns damage, remove the rock shields, try to poison him, put an odd combo to reduce Thorns chance. And this is basically what I'm going to do. Also at the beginning of the fight, Voodoo can regenerate the damage from Thorns. And this is basically now what I'm doing. So I put an odd combo here. Or to reduce chances, I'm holding block here, not going to risk anything here. And without combo, he also, you see, I restored only part of my specials here. And when I'm doing medium attack, I have chance to not take any thorns damage. And this is, as you can see here, what I'm doing. I won't tell you this is how you should fight Korg as a boss with Dr. Voodoo. Because if I should have solo this guy, I would play differently. So the fight is is going pretty fine, it's exactly as I planned. Nothing special, nothing different here. And now I have my power and burn here. So this war wasn't our best war. We did a lot of mistakes, and our opponents probably did also. But we won this war, so we won 4 wars in a row. This is pretty awesome for our lines. It's a huge progress and we are going to do this till the end of the season. 3 wars left, so let's see how it goes. If you like this video, click here to subscribe, like, share and see you soon on my next video.